All right, I've uh, removed the additional, or the, the updated stuff for the 1.4 ROM, and I fixed the Seagate hard drive. So hopefully this is gonna be my attempt to uh, revive this uh, old hard drive's uh, usage. There was a pin that was um, broken in that. So um, I ended up getting that repaired. Less than five bucks, man. That's crazy. So hopefully it's gonna be my first time turning this on. So I'm hoping that this works. Oh, I can hear something and I hear that. Oh shit, it works. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. All right. That, that is a testament to just one small pin. You can hear it. You can hear it a little bit. But yeah. Um, let's go ahead and uh, check this out. It's a little soft. Let's go to the test menu. Yep, you can see that there, 1.4. Let's uh, adjust the volume. Nice. All right. And uh, let's see the diagnostic test, switch test. Looks like obviously all the buttons are working here. Yep. Dip switch test. Yep. It looks like it's a uh, pretty spot on to me. All right, CPU board test. There you go, soundboard test. We were playing some of that stuff earlier, or at least we heard it. Yep, boom, we're good. Um, let's go back, yeah, that works. And uh, check disc, the most important part. And you can hear it working. That's amazing. Let's uh, zoom in at least. Yeah, look at that. Let's let it run its thing. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. That one small pin, one small pin. And I finally got it to work. I mean, I didn't do the soldering, but shit. That's amazing. Shoutouts to uh, a barley or a barely out in Santa Ana. Man, uh, Alfredo, good work, man. He's the owner of that store out there. Um, I was passing by Micro Center and uh, unfortunately they didn't have what I was looking for. And I was just going to get a piece from this guy, you know, like one of those, uh, you know, just, just a broken hard drive. And I would have done the soldering um, myself, but he ended up taking the reins and and doing all that work, and he just said, oh, no, I love doing this stuff, uh, five bucks. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me, man? So um, shout-outs to him, Alfredo, if you're watching or if you're out there. Thanks again for uh, helping me out on this uh, project. So, um, yeah, if you guys are in the Orange County area and need some repairs, take it out to, uh, you know, Alfredo. He's the owner of uh, a Barely. I'm, I'll, I'll put that link down in the description below. But man, it looks like it's working fine. Yeah. Oh, let's uh, exit that one. 
and just kept pressing buttons. All right, so that looks like it's working. Um, and yeah, let's let's uh, exit this. I think it should be on free. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, man, dude. Off of the hard drive, dude. 1.4. Not bad at all. Yeah, man. So, uh, looks like a uh, successful repair. And yeah, uh, let me turn this off. And uh, I'll show you exactly where that repair was made. Hopefully this doesn't uh, get too hot, but look. I will lift this actually. Yeah, let me put this over here. And I'm gonna lift this real carefully. Oh, all right. Hopefully I didn't bend any pins. All right, good. So it's right here. Boom. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but yeah, that pin in the center where you could see that that is a hole there. Yeah, so that that one, not the one with that hole missing, but the one right directly into the center camera, that was a pin that was uh, sacrificed from an old IDE board, um, and yeah, he just ended up soldering it. Um, right in there I, I i would have opened it but I'll, I'll share a picture in this video but in any case yeah he literally just did that small pitch soldering to this uh ide controller um you know nonchalantly he was just like i love this stuff and i was like all right i was just gonna ask you to buy you know i was gonna ask you if i could buy one of these pieces but man he did a really really good job on this one so I'm I'm glad to have seen that, you know, I was able to uh you know salvage this this uh hard drive. It's one of the rarest hard drives out there. Um if you were to look after market, probably three hundred dollars just for that hard drive and all it contains was you know the ROMs that have been dumped, you know, into things like this. This is actually the one point five D um SSD RAM. Um but yeah, no, I'm glad. And it works perfectly with the the Killer Instinct, uh, you know, 1.4. So regardless, this was a successful project. And again, uh, thanks to uh, Alberto over at uh, Aberly in Santa Ana. Just hit him up again. Um, but for the most part, man, this is a successful project.